Hi, this is Mato. In this video, I will show you the game between Hikaru Nakamura and Walter Brown. This game was played in San Francisco in 2002. Hikaru Nakamura held white pieces and he started with d4. Brown played knight to f6, c4, e6, knight to c3, and Brown played bishop to b4, Nimzo Indian defense. Queen to c2, Brown castle kingside, a3, bishop takes knight, queen takes bishop, b6, bishop to g5, pinning the knight, bishop to b7, e3, c5, attacking white center, d takes on c5, b takes on c5, f3, before moving the bishop to d3. Knight to c6, bishop to d3, h6 attacking the bishop on g5, bishop to h4, d5, knight to e2, d4 attacking the queen, e takes on d4, c takes on d4, queen to d2, e5, and Nakamura played knight to g3. Black to move. How should black continue? What would you do? Developing move like rook to e8? Maybe g5, trapping the bishop? Would you do this? g5 and you win the bishop. Brown played knight to e4, attacking white queen, but he's going to lose his own queen. Well, let's see what happens if g5 is played. If g5 is played, then bishop is dead. At the cost, black king will become very manable. Let's see what happens then. Bishop takes on g5. Pawn takes bishop. Queen takes on g5, check. King to h8, check. King to g8, and the white can play a winning move in this position, and that is knight to h5. Mm. So g5 would be a mistake, a big mistake. Should we call it a blunder? Okay, so we have knight to e4. Bishop takes queen on d8. Knight takes queen on d2. King takes knight. Rook from a takes on d8. Black has a pass pawn on d4. But white has also a pass pawn on c file. White to move. What would you do if you had white pieces? What would be your plan? Have a look. Nakamura played b4. Of course, he wants to play on the queen side because he's got three pawns against one on the queen side. g6 preparing f5. Rook from a to e1. Well, it looks like that rook from h to e1 is better. But really doesn't matter because Nakamura knows what he is doing. He is planning to double the rooks on e-file. Okay, so we have a rook from f to e8. Knight to e4. Threatening. Knight to f6. Rook to e7. c5. The knight is coming to d6. And light squared bishop on b7 has no future there. So, Brown played bishop to c8, knight to d6, bishop to e6, rook to e2, king to g7, rook from h to e1, and black played f6. Originally he wanted to play f5, but f5 would be a bad move. 
what would you do now if you had white pieces? The pawn on e5 is defended only by the knight on c6 with the idea to remove the defender and if for example bishop to d7 bishop takes knight, bishop takes bishop rook takes pawn and white is winning so we have f6 supporting the pawn on e5 bishop to b5 rook to c7 f4 bishop to g4 attacking the rook it is white to move what would you do white played a move and black resigned please pause the video and try to find the best move for white ready do we have a drum roll kaboom <laughs> did you expect some spectacular move well in order to win you don't always have to play spectacular moves this was good enough black resigned let's have a look at one possible continuation bishop to e6 please note white knight on d6 is far superior to black bishop okay the game may continue like this bishop takes knight rook takes bishop pawn takes pawn on e5 pawn takes pawn rook takes pawn on e5 attacking the bishop well where is the bishop going one line goes like this bishop to g8 this is not the only continuation just one possible continuation then check king to h8 rook takes pawn on a7 and white has three passed pawns on the queen side against zero pawns and also white has a monster knight on d6 the pawn on d4 is falling that is why in this position black resigned what do you think of this game did you find the winning move in this position that was rook to f2 hmm? very ordinary and that is all i hope that you enjoyed watching this video I wish you good luck with your chess and bye for now.